Welcome to Cooking Your Favorites with Joe. Me, I'm Joe. This week, we're cooking chow mein. Chicken chow mein. Now there are tons of variations on chicken chow mein. There's East Coast, which is like more like Hong Kong chow, uh, chow mein. West Coast, which is more like an East Coast lo mein. Uh, we're gonna do the West Coast style chow mein, which is more like a lo mein on the East Coast, uh, just to change it up a little bit. It is fairly ingredient heavy. You do need quite a few things. Um, do you have to make it the same? No, you can make it with any vegetables you want in it, any chicken, pork, beef, uh, vegetarian. You can go either way. Uh, some of the stuff you're going to need for it is celery, green onions, mushrooms, bok choy, very nice, soy sauce, green pepper, onion, of course I'm going to use chicken today, cornstarch, Bean sprouts, white pepper, chow mein noodles. If you got an Asian market around your house, awesome place to get these. Uh, we're going to go into how to cook those. Some sesame uh, oil, just some kosher salt, some rice vinegar, and I also have cut up some carrots. Uh, so it's it's very fresh, very fast. If you have a wok, uh, it makes it a lot easier to cook this. Um, it cooks very hot and very fast. So we're going to go ahead and the first thing you're going to want to do is get all your stuff chopped up, which uh, I'm going to go through that really quick, chop everything up, and uh, we'll get the wok going and we'll wok on. <laughs> all right. All right, the first thing you're going to want to have is... Um, your sharp knife. You need that. You're going to have to have your sharp knife. And you're going to want to have a lot of bowls. And let's go ahead and get chopping. Set your chicken out flat. You want to just cut really, really thin slices. All right. You don't want very fat slices. So let's go ahead and chop that up. All right. Once you've chopped your chicken up, it's time to move on to the vegetables. So let's go ahead and get those chopped up next. Peppers. You're just going to want to clean that out. The easiest way to clean that out is just cut the ribs like that. And then go over your trash can. Pop out the center. You've got a pretty clean pepper there. Slice it straight down the middle. And just get yourself some slices like this. You're going to want to put all your hard vegetables, which are your peppers, your onions, your bok choy, your celery, your carrots, it's a one bowl. And when you do that, it'll be easier to get the stir fry on. So we're going to go ahead and get all those cut up first. Celery. Bok choy. All right, bok choy's in. Onion. Chop, chop the tops off. Take your peel, go around it. Get that skin off of there. Split it right down the center. Then just cut yourself whole slices. You want to leave the onions fairly chunky in the in the food. They cook up nicer. It feels like you're eating something. Alright, you just want to break those up a little bit as you put them into your bowl. Now you can use any sort of vegetable. You can use uh, onions, peppers, um, celery, bok choy, napa cabbage, mushrooms, onions, scallions, water chestnuts. Um, you can even use uh, kale. You can throw any kind of green you want in there. It really doesn't matter. It's just totally your, uh, what you want to do, what you want to eat. So. If you like kale, throw it in. Um, and we're going to go over different ways to make this. So we're going to keep, we got a few more things we need to chop up. So let's get to it. Carrots, just split them across. 
All right, be careful, don't cut yourself. You just want to have little slices of carrot. Nope. So let's go ahead and chop up our soft vegetables and get them to the side. So we got our mushrooms. Those are going to all go in with the same time as the green onions and the bean sprouts. So you want to get yourself a separate bowl for those. I like to keep a lot of cooking bowls around because you can never have enough. So just want to get yourself some green onions cut up. All right, now these, you gotta make sure, these don't go in early. Put these in early, they'll cook down enough and they not really taste like much. You put them in towards the end and they really pop in flavor. So you wanna make sure you get those in at the end. Now of course you know we have the Ola Choy. We're gonna rock the La Choy, there it is. Easy, out of the can. You can buy the fresh ones, they're fine too. I kinda like the way these taste in my, uh, in my uh, chow mein, so. That's what I'm going to go with. Okay. We're going to go ahead and move on to getting our noodles ready. We're going to prep our noodles. Um, and then we're going to, uh, while we're doing that, we're going to first marinate our chicken, which I've set to the side. So let's go ahead and get that going. So we've got our chicken. And it's real simple to marinate. Uh, we're just going to use some soy sauce on it. We're going to use a little bit of sesame oil. We're going to use some cornstarch. We're going to use some salt. We're going to use some white pepper, and that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm just going to give it a light seasoning, and we're going to let it marinate for a few minutes, and then we'll uh, go ahead and get it fried after we get our noodles going. So when you marinate your chicken, you're going to want to make sure that you just go ahead, get them seasonings on there. Um, I'll give you some roundabout estimates of what it is. We're looking at about just under a tablespoon of soy sauce. Definitely like a half, a quarter teaspoon of white pepper, about a quarter teaspoon of sea salt, and you're gonna want a good, a good tablespoon of cornstarch for sure. And now you just want to add a slight drizzle of sesame oil. I don't have to get nutty. Get in there and mix that all around really good. Cornstarch can tend to be very sticky, uh, especially once it gets a little bit of liquid on it. So, you want to get that mixed around in there really, really good. Get everything really, really coated. That chicken's going to taste amazing when you fry it off. So, let's go ahead and get that turned around. We've cut up our part of vegetables, our onions, peppers, bok choy, celery. All right, and carrots. It's all in there. We chopped up our green onions, our mushrooms, and we've got them in there. We're going to add the sprouts to that when it's time. So our next start is to get these noodles coming. Now the noodles, they're super easy. We're gonna get some water boiling on the stove. We're just gonna drop them in, get them al dente. Don't wanna overcook them. We wanna leave a little bit of chewiness to the noodle because we're gonna stir fry them afterwards. So let me go ahead and get that water boil and we'll move on ahead. Okay, while your water's getting ready to boil, let's go ahead and make our sauce for our noodles at the end. We're gonna add to the whole dish. Let's go ahead and mix that up now. Okay, so what you want is three quarters of a cup of chicken broth. And you just want to put in about a teaspoon of sugar. I use raw sugar. You're going to want to put in a couple of teaspoons of oyster sauce. Get that mixed in there. And you're going to want to go ahead and add in about a tablespoon and a half of soy. And you're also going to want to add in about a tablespoon and a half of cornstarch. It's, it's going to thicken your sauce up. So we're going to mix that up real nice. So that's mixed up, you're ready to go. That's going to go in right at the end. Okay, so it looks like our water's boiling, so let's go ahead and drop in our pasta. I'm going to use about six ounces of chow mein noodles, so we're just going to go ahead and drop them in the water. Now remember, you don't want to overcook them. You want to have them al dente. Time in the water is going to be about five minutes. You should be able to see. You don't want your pasta to stick together. I'm going to break it up. 
Yeah, you only need to use about a half a package of these noodles. That's quite a few. With your chicken and your vegetables, that's going to be a lot. And those seem to be about done. Let's give it a little taste. Perfect. People use all different kinds of oils for frying. When you're doing anything in a wok, you're going really hot, you're going to want to use peanut oil. Any kind of ground nut oil. Something with a high smoke point. Probably don't want to use olive oil, though I've heard people use it before. So let's go ahead and get some our pan hot, add some oil, and get our chicken frying. One of the things you definitely want to season your pan with is you want to go ahead and uh, add that oil. About, you're going to be shallow frying, so you're going to probably want one, two, three, four, about four tablespoons of oil in there. All right, get that oil moved around. So we're going to go ahead and add, you want to add your oil to a hot pan. Now I'm going to go ahead and add some garlic, just to add that flavor to that oil. All right. Now, again, you don't want to burn the garlic. You just want to get some flavor. Okay. Once you do that, you're going to go ahead and get your chicken. Drop your chicken in. The secret is to not overcook this. You just want to cook it till it's a little whiter on the outside. Not quite cooked on the inside, just about. Because the secret is, you want to keep it tender. So it's going to go back into the pan once we start cooking our vegetables. You use the side of the wok, and the side of the wok isn't as hot as the center of the wok. So you move your food off to the side, and it's going to cook at a lower temperature than your center food is. You got to remember that this meat is going to continue to cook once you pull it out. It looks to be almost about where we want it. Start pulling some out. Get yourself a plate. A little napkin action on it. That's going to go ahead and let this meat drain a little bit. Our last pieces are cooking. Oh, we got them. All right. Let's go ahead and pull that off. All right, once you've cleaned up your pan a little bit, because you don't want to have all them burnt bits in there, it's going to make your vegetables taste horrible. You want to get that pan heated up again. See the color in the bottom of the pan? You don't want to scrub that pan so it's completely cleaned out. That's called seasoning. That's from all the different oils and the garlic and the ginger I've used in here. It gives it a little bit of a, and of course the ring from the pasta being cooked in there. But all those flavors, when it's heated with the oil, they all come together to give you a flavor that's, outstanding so let's go ahead and get that hot we're gonna throw in just a couple more teaspoons of oil one a tablespoons I mean there we go just a couple tablespoons we're gonna let that get hot again okay so you want to go ahead and get that pan nice and hot you want to drop your veggies and you're gonna hear when I drop them in what it sounds like you're gonna get a little bit of a tss, out of it, like a real sizzle that's what you want you want to keep it hot and keep them veggies moving all right, and cook them through. It's only gonna be a few minutes of cook time. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and drop them in and let you hear what it sounds like. Now remember, we're going with our hard vegetables first. We're gonna go with our peppers and onions and carrots, bok choy, and our celery. That smells great, by the way. All right, you hear that? That's what you wanna hear. You wanna get that moving around, swirl around, get those veggies, a little bit of oil on them. Keep them moving. Keep moving around. One of the most important parts of uh, cooking like a Chinese or Asian dish is uh, cooking very hot. You want to keep that food moving. You don't want it to stick or burn. If you got the, enough oil in there, it should glide around the pan very nicely. And you're going to get a nice cook on it. You won't get a burn. Let's go ahead and cook these vegetables down a bit. Well, I'll tell you, as these veggies cook down, they smell great. Now you see that those veggies are really starting to sweat down. They're getting limp. They're starting to cook. Now is when you want to add your softer veggies. You're going to want to add the mushrooms, the scallions, and the bean sprouts to your mix. So let's go ahead and dump that in there. Alright, we got our mushrooms, scallions, and bean sprouts. As you can see, this makes quite a good sized meal. Alright, get that mixed around. 
We're just going to let that cook for a little while longer. Cook them veggies down a bit. Now again, I'm cooking all this. The meat I fried and the vegetables are cooked on about 6.5 on my stove, which is just over medium uh, heat. Maybe two-thirds uh, heat, not quite three-quarters. So just under that. But again, your stove may cook differently than mine. So we're just going to let that cook down for a little bit. The water from the bean sprouts has uh, cooled it down a little bit. So we're going to let it heat back up, get it twisting around, and then we're going to add our meat and finish our meal. Just before we add the rest of our uh, ingredients, the meat and the um, sauce, we're just going to take about a teaspoon of rice wine vinegar. Eh, over a teaspoon and a half. Let that, that cook off a little bit and just give it a mix in. Now that is going to offset the sweetness of our sugar that we added to our other part. Alright, as you can see this is cooking down really nice. So it's going to be just about time to add in our meat. Give that a little bit more heating. Let's go ahead and dump that right in. Mix it in really good. You can cut your pieces of chicken up smaller if you'd like. I like to have it meaty, just cut it up in the bowl. Or plate however you want to serve it so now we just want to dump in our noodles I just drain them like you drain pasta same way just get that mixed in real good now you're gonna to want to add your sauce that sauce has been sitting so you're gonna to want to go ahead and stir it up because that cornstarch is gonna be all hard in the bottom so let's go ahead and give it a quick stir right, we hear that bubbling in there so quiet it right down all right you got to be careful at this point because now your noodles might start sticking to the bottom. So you got to keep your eye on it really closely. Okay, and there we go. We have ourselves some chicken chow mein. Chicken chow mein. This is more the, uh, like I said, the West Coast style of chicken chow mein. It is uh, with the noodles in it, stir fried noodles. Uh, we didn't fry them up on the East Coast here. It's more of a Hong Kong style. And it uses actually the crispy fried noodles and rice and you do your uh, chow mein with your vegetables. So it's a little bit different. Let's go ahead and throw some of this on a plate and see what it looks like. Grab some of this out of here. And there you go. Let's give it a taste. See what it tastes like. Let's see what we got here. Pretty good. Vegetables are still crispy. That's not bad. There you go. Chicken chow mein and cooking your favorite's way. It's uh, pretty tasty. Simple to make. There's a lot of steps involved. It's simple to make if you have uh, all the vegetables in your fridge already. You can chop them up the day before when you come home. Quick cook them off. Literal cooking time in the pan. If you're running hot, it takes me a little bit longer because I have to keep moving the camera around and filming, but if you're walking something and you have the heat high, you literally can cook the meal in about 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes. Once you sweat down the vegetables, add the pre-cooked chicken, total prep time and cook time, about 40 minutes. Uh, so not too bad. So anyway, if you like what you see, you want to give it a try and uh, we'll keep cooking. All right, we'll see you next time on Cooking Your Favorites with Joe.